Since 1968, Mackey Motors has been the place to find new and certified used vehicles. Along with a knowledgeable and helpful sales staff, you, the customer, are their number one priority. Find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Mackey Motors post-game show, find new roads at Mackey Motors in Lake City. Jacob Privia, the head coach for the Audubon Wheelers, joining us here tonight. They fall 60-51 to in their season over to Coon Rapids. Baird, coach, you and I were just chatting. Your first game as a coach, first game for these kids with you. Um, battled hard, uh, got down nine, got down by 15 in the second quarter, cut it to three in the fourth and had a chance, but you end up falling tonight. Probably saw some things you liked, probably saw some things that you feel like you still need to get some work on. Yeah, absolutely. I thought we came out flat, but then towards the end of that first quarter, into the second quarter, we really turned it up. Um, boys fought hard down the stretch, but ended up falling short. Coach, you, you and I chatted in the preseason, uh, and you told me that you wanted to start on the defensive end. I thought it was your defense that kind of brought you guys back here tonight. Right, yeah, we, yeah, we got a lot of steals. I think you said 14 before we came on here. Um, yeah, they defended the wings really well. However, we just couldn't defend inside of that is where we struggled tonight. So, um, yeah, we'll be working on that. Hope to show some improvements there. Where do you adjust defensively then inside, uh, especially if you're going to see any more teams like the Crusaders with their strength in the paint? Yeah, they definitely dominated inside tonight, and that's something we got to work on defensively. Um, yeah, post-defense was our main thing, just not being able to stay in front of guys and – that's something we'll have to continue to work on in practice. Coach, uh, offensively, uh, execution probably not good early, but first game, new system. Uh, how did you see the team grow offensively tonight? What started to work for these guys in the second half? Yeah, first quarter, we you know, we weren't catching on our spots, um, um, not running the offense correctly. But towards the second quarter and into that second half, we really saw some points take off because they started running this offense right, getting open shots, getting good looks. I know that this team's got some three-point shooters, didn't shoot it well tonight. Probably not overly concerned about that with being in the first game of the year. Absolutely, yeah. We'll, we'll bounce back from tonight. I think we only made four three-pointers tonight and probably took a lot more. But we'll, I'm not too worried about that percentage. I think we'll, we'll keep letting them fly and they'll go in. Aaron Olson, though, part of that big comeback for you guys, hit a couple of threes. What did you see out of him making, I think, his first varsity start? Absolutely, him defensively as well, forcing good pressure, getting some steals, and yeah, letting the ball fly. That's what we want to do, um, and he did a great job doing that tonight. Got a quick turnaround. You got Missouri Valley coming here tomorrow night, uh, conference team. Um, what do you know about them right now, and how do you get your team prepared uh, with, with less than 24 hours to get them ready for another game? That's a great question. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know a whole lot right now, but uh, we'll be looking at some film tonight. Um, and into tomorrow to get ready. So. I'll tell you what, I'll let you get home and, and get started on that breakdown of film. Appreciate you joining us here tonight. Uh, best of luck coming up tomorrow night. Absolutely, thank you. You bet, Jacob Privia again, the head coach for the Audubon Wheelers.